while we are clearly in better shape than three years ago when this pandemic first hit, the global collective response is once again under strain. There's no question things have improved in Canada, but would you consider the COVID-19 pandemic over? For me personally, I, I always like try to keep my distance, but it's not like a, something that affects my everyday life. Ask around, it's a mixed bag. Nope. <laughs> it's, it's because people are still getting sick. Oh, sure. Yeah, it's over. We're starting to have a lot of fun. But people are still getting sick. I just had COVID like a couple weeks ago. It's definitely not over. Unfortunately, my wife is just getting over it. In January 2020, the WHO Emergency Committee decided COVID-19 was a public health emergency of international concern. For some countries, that title has helped justify and direct how resources are used to prevent further infection. So when does a shift to an endemic happen? This may have a significant impact if it's downgraded. It may end up being used as justification by certain governments to withdraw resources that are allocated to uh, COVID. Experts say they hope any change in designation doesn't lull people into thinking COVID is over. There is no off-ramp to COVID. COVID will be with us for the uh, measurable future. Plus, moving towards an endemic does not come without risk. And, and I would encourage us all that if you haven't had your, your bivalent shot, go out and get it. Do not underestimate this virus. It has and will continue to surprise us, and it will continue to kill. Catherine Ward, Global News.